12 July 1996, 1100 hours, Bertha is now making its presence felt along the coast of North Carolina. Tense atmosphere at the Hurricane Center in Miami. It's still not clear exactly where or if the hurricane will hit the coast. Well, I have it too far, I was too far ahead. 1400 hours. It's now definite. Bertha will make it to the mainland. Not taken a turn to the north as forecasters had originally expected, and it now appears this powerful storm will make landfall in the U.S. I'm Robert Pankow, and we're live at the National Hurricane Center. Now we go live to a reporter, Gary Dean, on Roanoke Island. They tell us this is not even the worst of it yet. Yeah, that's what y'all been talking about. It's, it's unbelievable now. I understand. Thanks very much. We'll get out of your way. Up, 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 up. Along the coast, the storm reaches a wind speed of 160 kilometers per hour. This makes Bertha a moderately serious hurricane. However, damages are estimated at over $100 million. Computer models had calculated seven different possible routes for Bertha. Forecasters are to decide which one to believe or not to believe any of them. Combine the results of the model together with his feelings about the weather and come up with a forecast. And uh, it's, a, it's an art and there's a tremendous amount of pressure because people's lives and property depend on the quality of the forecast.